According to the projections of dynamic recycling, about 70% of households still have a CRT device. Many of those old TVs and monitors have already made their way to a recycling facility. And in this week's eyepiece, photographer John Schmidt shows us how they are broken down to be recycled. On an annual basis, we bring in about 20 million pounds of CRT devices, uh, and that represents about 60 to 70 percent of the total electronic waste that we see here. There's nothing real technical to it, it's just removing all the commodities, separating those uh, into like, uh, like categories, and then sending those out to our downstream processors. Uh, they'll bring the pallets up to the front of the line, unload them, cut the shrink wrap off them, load the line for our D-man crew, uh, our disassemblers. They really just manhandle these things. It's, there's no precision, it's breaking and destroying it. Uh, they let out a lot of aggression on them. These guys got their own set of tools, their own toolbox. They've got a uh, drill, a hammer, you know, all that kind of standard stuff. We take off the plastic top, the plastic backing, we throw it up on the conveyor belt, and then they take the CRT off. They'll loosen the CRT, they'll take the copper yoke off, that'll go to a separate vendor. They'll take the degaussing wire off, that'll go to a separate vendor, and they'll take the circuit board off, that'll go to a separate vendor. Um, everyone has their own tricks that they like to do. The leaded glass uh, that's inside of the television uh, is considered hazardous, so the glass gets separated, the panel from the funnel, and the funnel has about 20% lead actually infused in the glass. So that gets sent to a downstream processor that removes uh, the lead from the glass uh, in a smelting process. We are a zero landfill company. So everything that we bring in to, into the facility here all gets diverted from the landfill and gets introduced back into the recycling stream uh, through many different channels.